Anthony, it's been a year since you left us. It's been a year since you passed away, and I still remember that day walking into your parents' house and just knowing, walking in there and, and knowing and feeling and sensing that that was going to be the last time I was going to see you. That was going to be the last day that you were alive. And I remember how different it was. The feeling was just different. But it's been a year, and I think for me and I think for a lot of people, it's more important that we really start to think about you and who you were and a lot of, ah, oh, shit. And a lot of crazy stuff has happened since you passed away. A lot of crazy things have gone on. Uh, we've got COVID. Uh, COVID has taken over the world basically and we're, we're all sort of shut down. But what ended up happening for me is that this is where you come into play is that you sort of were the one who led me to start going to therapy to, to, to deal with the stress and, and to deal with the thoughts of why were you dealing with what you had and how I didn't feel like that was fair and, and, and how, how much bullshit that was. But what ended up happening is that since you passed away, I started to think about how you never bitched about anything. You never complained about anything. And you would come in and you'd train and, and you'd always work your ass off. You'd always work as hard as you possibly can. And you never, ever complained. And instead, you would actually make these goals. You could dumbbell bench the 90s, the 90s with one arm for a set of five. And you were military press in the 60s with one arm. You started to squat and do all this stuff. And you never, ever complained. And that was something for me that when we got shut down uh, here in the U.S. And when we were in Pennsylvania and we got shut down, I just remember th feeling as though I was so miserable and, and feeling like you, know, you had just passed three months prior and I was dealing with some struggles with relationships with my family, uh, dealing with business problems and all these different things. And I just kept thinking like, what the heck would Anthony do? Well, he won, he wouldn't bitch and complain. And then two, he take advantage of every opportunity you would take advantage of every single opportunity that was given to you and that reminded me you know you went to the district game and the the the, the doctor had said that you could play again and you went out and had two touchdowns you had like an 80 yard run for a td and then you had another like 40 yard run for a td and i remember standing on the sideline thinking this is the craziest thing that i've ever witnessed this kid has stage three glioblastoma and he is mopping everybody up because you're taking advantage of the situation that was provided to you. You are taking advantage of that, that situation that led into that third thing that I always think about is you always did things that made you happy because when you did things that made you happy, you could also make other people happy, which in turn made you happy again. And I think that for me, For me, it was, you always did what made you happy. You never complained. You always took advantage of the opportunity that was given to you. So it was one of those things where I'm 36 years old going, wow, I'm complaining. I'm not taking advantage of the fact that I'm still alive and I'm not doing the things that I love. And so for the last eight, nine months, I've taken those three key lessons from you of stop complaining take advantage of every opportunity that you possibly can and do the things that you love to do if you do those three things you're going to be around people that you want to be around you're going to be happier because you're around people that are like-minded and you're going to be able to impact the world in a really positive way and and that's what and that's what's led me to one of the biggest things that you taught me is that you've left this legacy. And I remember telling you, you had said to me one day that you just wanted people to remember who you were. And I remember saying, I remember saying, I'm gonna do my best so that people know who you were. And, and I think that's the biggest thing for me is that it comes back to those other three factors is, is stop complaining, take advantage of every opportunity, but then also, do whatever makes you happy. And that's what I've done the last eight, nine months is that I've tried to do every single thing that makes me happy and now I'm happier. As, 
Now I'm happier because I took a lesson from a freaking 17 year old kid who was dying of glioblastoma. And I think that that's where you come into play even more is you taught me what it means to leave a legacy. Leaving a legacy isn't about uh, money, it's not about power, it's not about all these crazy things that we always think that we want. It's not about all these uh, different aspects in life that are materialistic that we think that we need. Leaving a legacy is about experience and that's the biggest thing you taught me is that every single experience I had with you was positive, it was happy, it was, it was really, really cool and it led to really neat developments in me as a person and that's where you are today is you've helped is that your attitude and your ambition and your work ethic and your character traits are just always smiling and, and having chocolate on your face when you're eating donuts and stuff like that and fighting constantly when you were dying it was like every single day you were fighting because you wanted to spend more time with people you wanted to spend time with people that you cared about and that's the legacy that you left and that's the legacy that I want to strive towards is that you have impacted me so much as a 17 year old kid that now I'm today doing better than I did a year ago because I took those lessons to heart. And I sat there in March right around my birthday and I said, what are you going to do? Are you going to complain about this stuff? Are you going to blame everybody else? Or are you going to start to do things that you really want to do? Because when you start to do those things, me, when I start to do those things, I can have a really positive impact on people. And that's the, t the type of legacy that I want. I want that legacy that you've left. I want to be like you were, Anthony. And that's the thing that I think everybody's got to be aware of is that when we can sit there and be, how can we be more like Anthony Myers, a kid who's 17 years old and died of glioblastoma, he had a brain tumor and he completely fought until that very last moment. If we wanna be better people, we've gotta listen and learn from his legacy, from Anthony's legacy, from your legacy, Anthony, and that's be happy and spread that happiness throughout everybody. Stop complaining about your situation and instead take advantage of every opportunity that you're given. And when we can all do that, the whole world's gonna be a better place. We're all gonna be happier and we're all gonna be doing things and living experiences that are gonna have a much greater impact on the world. So I just wanted to share that with you, Anthony. I wanted everybody else to see this and I want people to know that you are a tremendous inspiration and I miss you a lot and I'm gonna keep hammering forward as strong as I possibly can to help push your legacy, the legacy of Anthony Myers. Peace.